Hi, welcome back to the another video of Chat GPT. We have done multiple videos on Chat GPT. So if you have not seen those videos, you can find the link of Chat GPT playlist in the description. In the last video, we have already seen how to get the text out of one PDF file and then get the required mention out of it and how to append that information line by line to a Excel file. Now in this example, we are going to take the next step. We are going to use chat GPT and we are going to combine the text from multiple PDFs and we are going to get the required information as a single file which will have multiple lines and that file will be the Excel file and the CSV file. Alright, so I have noted down the functions on the screen which you can see right now. So first we will write a function to read all the PDFs from a folder and then we will combine the text of all the PDFs as a second step. So in the third step, read the query and mapping. So whenever we go in chat GPT, we have to write some command and we have to give some instructions to chat GPT that can help chat GPT to get the data which we need. And all of these PDFs are in the different format. So in some time we will see the PDF files, we will see the mapping as well and we will see the query as well. What kind of query we are going to write. Everything combined First, number one query, number two mapping to support chat GPT and number three combined text of all the files. I am using four to five files. You can use 10 to 15 files, but I think that should be the sufficient number. If you want to try for a big number uh, that you can try and combining all these things, we are going to send the, we are going to post this to chat GPT using API and then we will get one response. So in step number five, we will get the required data from the chat GPT response and that chat GPT response we will write into CSV and Excel together. If you like the video, please hit the like button. One like is a good appreciation for a YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel for more videos because we are going to see chat GPT with Python, with UiPath, with Power Automate. All right, so let's get started now. Here I am on my pie chart and this was the first code which we have written to understand how to call chat gpt apis if you have not seen the video you can find the link in description or on the top now i will add one file into this project remember that we have already created the python environment to work upon all the chat gpt scripts so if you don't know how to create python environment watch my video you will find the link in description i am adding a new python file now And as I said, like we will be working with functions. So, so just to create the functions, what I have done is I have created the code on separate separate files. All right. And you are going to get all of these code files. I will share the link so that you can easily copy the code and try yourself. Now the first part is to read PDF all pages. So this is the code to read the PDF. And from here, line number 13. We are going to each page of the PDF and then we are printing the content here. Let me explain you the logic a little bit. This is the folder path and this one variable we have taken all page content. We have assigned a empty string to it and then we are going to the file. We are reading the PDF in line number 9. We are reaching to the file and then we are trying to load all the pages. After loading all the pages, we are getting the page count. And on the page count, we are looping on the range. All right. And after looping on the range, what we are doing, we are extracting the text from all the pages. This is not the first page. When we are looping, this is. Let's keep it as PDF page. And then every time in the loop, we are adding the new page content in the same variable and then we are assigning it back to the all page content. So the first time when loop will go, it will read page number one, assign that content to all pages. So all pages will have page number one is still with it. And then next page number two will be added. Similarly, the loop will keep going for all the pages. Those are available in PDF. And then finally we are printing the content out of this loop so you have to just uh, notice this we are out of this loop but we are inside this loop 
so for each file this so this print will work for each file and these lines will work for each page inside the pdf when we will create the uh, function using this code what we will do is we will just take the file name and then we will return the page content we will take the file path as the input argument so hope you understand about the arguments and parameters so we will take this as the argument and this entire code will work based on that argument file name okay we will see this in some time so now let's see about the api query so as the topic of this video is how to use chat gpt apis to get the text out of pdf and write that in excel so it is very important that we understand about chat gpt and these api keys are not the complete keys because uh, that's the secure information so that time i will change these api keys before i am running the file all right and now this is the query so we need two things in whenever we are querying anything from chat gpt one what query you want so for this particular example we are using this query generate a csv table keeping four values and you can read this query from some text file also as i have done here okay so what is this mapping csv now so we have to understand when we are querying the data in that time we have to tell the chat gpt that what mapping chat gpt has to use so i will just show you this file so if you can just see here and focus on the last column so what i am trying to tell chat gpt here is like mobile number mobile number mobile number cell number contact number registered mobile number it has to consider as mobile number and for email id email id these different kind of combination has to be considered like this okay so if you want you can just add consider here Okay, but uh, right now I am not adding because I think this query is working fine. First, we and before we are running this in the code, we will see directly on the chat GPT portal how it is working. All right, and this is the CSV file, so you don't have to use any specific uh, library. You can just read this as a text file. The same thing I am doing here. I am reading this CSV file here. I am assigning that text to the user input. And then from here I have created the function already. So I just I will take the PDF text and then I will call the function. Okay. So if you want to you you don't want to use the function, delete this part from here. And you can delete this part from here. And just assign this here. Now you can directly use this. So if you want to understand it better, how to call the API, you have the link in description. But for this part, I think uh, this is sufficient. So you just have a look on this code. Now write to CSV. So once we will have the text output text, which chat GPT API will give us, we will be writing that using that text into one variable. And from that variable, we will be removing some blank lines. And then we will be writing the CSV file using the return text. Now here you see how will you write the data in Excel. So we have to use the string, the same string which will be give, which will be given by chat GPT as CSV and then uh, from that string we will write a data frame. From the data frame we will write the Excel file to Excel and then some Excel name here. Okay. So I have to log into the chat GPT portal. This is the URL here. I will log in. Okay, so first thing like I will use my query. And let's create the query on uh, one notepad file before we are writing. So here I will keep this one, first text. So this will be the first line of the query. What will be after this? Then we will use this these column names which which chat GPT will use for data labeling. So I'll just take, copy this text simply and I will paste here. All 
all right and third thing like it will take the text from all the pdf files and all the pdf files are in different format some documents are here so i'll just copy this text From all the files I'm just appending the text from these PDFs and you have noticed like all the PDFs are in different format. Okay, so I think our query is ready. What we will do is we will post this entire query and then we will see the result. All right, if you want to have a look, this is the query and this is the text. Okay, so let's go and check. I will just simply paste this complete query. So you can see all the information is extracted. Let me show you the in PDF once again. So document 1, you can see the details here. Pause the video. You can match the output from chat GPT. It's perfect. You can see the document to pause the video if you want to have a close look. And you can see the output here, it is correct. This is from document 3 email ID, mobile number, name. Let's go to chat GPT name, email ID, mobile number. Let's go to document 4. You have name here, mobile number, email ID. Okay. You have the response here. So, chat GPT, the query is working fine that we have seen just now. Now, the only thing is we have to create the same kind of text using our Python script and post this to chat GPT using chat GPT API. And chat GPT API will return us this text. And then we will write the script to convert the this text into CSV and file and Excel file. All right, so now let's go to the code. All right, so the first thing is that we will write the function to read the text from PDF using the file path. So right now you can see the code on your screen. We have to import libraries. So and before that you have to install these libraries. So how will you install the library script install pdf so you will go to terminal in your environment and i am repeating it again if you don't know how to create the environment you have the link in description then you will just enter it okay so it is showing like requirement is already satisfied because i have already added the libraries in this environment i just have to import the library Okay, so you see like it is taking an input variable input argument input file path it will take the complete file path as the argument and then it will return all page text if you are not able to get anything in this function you can just write in the comment with line number i will explain you in detail and you will have this complete code file as well now next thing is once we have the text contained from pdf we have to call the api so now the next function will be which, which will use this text and using this text call the chat GPT API and return the response from chat GPT. All right. So here is the function. So all of these parameters I had already explained in 
different videos but you can just understand once again so first thing is like we will need a api key that we will write in main when we are calling this function in main but because api keys should be loaded only once in the entire script not with or every call of the function so we will write that api key in main and from there this api key we will be using to create this response and this is the model which model of chat gpt we are using and this is the query so we will pass here entire query so where is the entire query we have just seen here so this part is the entire query all the text text of all the files plus query and plus some supporting text for chat gpt so i have to import this open api same way you can install open api library also open api library is to use the chat gpt Now we have we are done with both the functions. Let's write the code, the main code to call the functions. So now the PDF function, which is above what it requires, PDF file paths. So we have to get the complete path for all the PDFs in the folder. Okay. So now come. So here I have taken the file path, and these are the API keys which we are going to use, and I am going to modify before I am running this script. So now when we have the folder path we also require a query so you remember like there was there was a query first place this one this is the query so now this query has to come in a variable so here you on your screen you can see the entire query i will just take a enter from here now we have the query also but we still we have not still assigned this file to any variable this mapping file and this is the csv file so you don't have to write a specific code you can just read as a text file so here i am reading this as a text file so now what i have to do is i have to call this function this function will give me the all page text And to loop on all the files, I am using I am using this this os dot list dir function. So I just have to os, and then I am using the folder path to read this list dot dir will read all the files in a folder. So I am using the folder path that I have given here. All right. And then this but as of now I will not be able to use this out of this for loop because this variable should be outside also. So I will just create one variable here. Okay, so let's test the code till here if it is able to give us the all file text and all file text I will print outside of this loop so that we are getting the all file text in one time. Okay, and how can we uh, you check that? Like this is the fourth file, and in the fourth file, I have the text on two pages. This information is confidential. So if the data is coming till here, which means this is working fine. And if you want to have a look on this code before you go ahead, you can just have a look from here. Line number 23. After line number 23. Line number 45. 40. From line number 40 till end. Alright, now let's run and see the output. Yes, so we have the text for all the PDF files here. And this is the page number which is coming. So zero in the last file we had two pages, zero and one. Fine, so it is working fine till here. 
on we have to call the other function which is here so it will post the entire query to the chat gpt api and return the response to us so now let's see how to do that i will just disable this line because we don't need it if you want you can enable back or you can delete okay so we are creating here the complete query this is the complete file all the file text and this is the field mapping which is here in csv this is the query which we have just seen here this this query if you want you can change the query okay and if you want to see the query here i have mentioned like this so we have this complete query text and then we are calling the chat gpt api using this function and we are posting this complete query so if you will see this complete query we are using here this will come as the input argument okay in the next line we are passing this argument basically the this then can be complete query so you can just keep this text here try to do this yourself and see what is the result now what we are doing we are just going to see what kind of output it is giving the api is giving us okay so before i am running i will correct the api keys and i will just change this query also because i just want to use the same things which same query that i have just used in chat gpt portal so we can run it now right so you can see the text outcome is same as we wanted so just note this text from here and let's go to the pdf files one by one this is pdf number one name mobile email id you can notice name mobile email id pdf2 name mobile number email id here is coming correct same for other two documents also so you can just have a look on jackup mobile number is 646 ending document 3 646 mobile number and email and here we have to go up just see the name email id mobile number and let's go to our output name email id mobile number so till here it is working fine the chat gpt api is giving us the correct outcome from all the unstructured text so, right so you don't have to write any regular expression you don't have to use any further apis or any other data generator you can use chat gpt to extract the data from unstructured text or you can use chat gpt to extract the data from multiple file text now how will we write this to csv so with very simple code so we have already seen the code for writing the for writing the csv and for writing excel from the data frame okay in these two files I am going to use similar kind of code. Just I will just change the variable names. Okay, so here, here I have pasted the code. So this we are writing the CSV that we have seen in our last to last video as well. And here we are writing this uh, pandas data frame. I have to import these two libraries, and you have to install pandas same way by doing pip install pandas. Please note along with pandas you have to install you have to install openpy excel or any other excel writer that supports python okay so let's import these two libraries now i have already installed
com a eu por string dot io all right all right so i have not yet given that where i have to write the excel file what simple change we have to do df dot to excel chat gpt excel and here we have already written chat gpt csv excel dot chat gpt excel dot s x l s x now let's run this code and see i will be sharing the entire file so you don't have to worry about the length of the code so it has generated the text here is the output from the api chat gpt api now after chat gpt api output it is writing into excel and csv so now if you want to see the files you can see the timing here you can see the timing here as well let's open and you can see the same data here as well that we have seen i will open the excel file now so here also you have the same data if you want to remove this you just have to do one small change let me run once again so it is printing so many times so what i will do is i will just remove disable all these print commands i just keep this open query part open and in, when we are writing the data frame to excel we just have to do index false now let's run once again and see the output here you have the required data all right so i hope you like the video and if you want to have a look on the code once again let's go from start first of all this is the function to read all the text all the all page text of a single file this is the function to call chat gpt api here you have to use your apis and these things we require to work upon the script we are reading the mapping here and we are finally going through each file calling this function here we are combining the text in each file and then we are combining the entire query here and then we are finally getting the response that response we are writing to csv and excel files Thank you very much for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you once again.